7.45 in the a.m. This is your girl, Kathy Brox, for LUTG Radio. ay 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 Yep, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm awake and I'm a little happy. Uh-huh. Happy is the man that has the Lord. You know that when we refer to man, we actually mean male and female? When God says son, he means both male and female. So he, has, he doesn't actually say daughter. That's man saying daughter. He says, son, he says, this is my son in whom I am well pleased. And he was talking about Jesus. But he'll also call a female a son because, well, he's, he means it's plural. It's male and female. So, and no, that does not give you the license to say, well, it's okay for two men to be together because God, <laughs> God calls the woman son. Shut up. <laughs> That ain't what it means. <laughs> and all right, for all the homosexuals, calm down. Get your wigs down. Uh, uh, don't worry, I ain't bashing you. You do good yourself. All that fish. You know what? When I was growing up, I'm, I know I'm always talking about homosexuals. Why is this? Because when I was growing up, it was a plethora of homosexuals all around me all the time. It was so many of them that nobody really thought about them being gay. There would be one that would dress up. Oh, Lord. He looked just like a girl. He, he, was, he was prettier than the girls. And he was so well kept. But we could tell he wasn't because of the way he, you know, he didn't have the same mannerisms as a female that has those natural mannerisms. But anyway, he was, you know, a nice guy. Uh, but anyway, I was just around so many homosexuals that it was just a regular everyday thing and I didn't really think too much of it. You know, it's like, oh, that's just so-and-so. Oh, that's just so-and-so. Oh, so-and-so, your friends are here, blah, blah, blah. That's just who it was. And we didn't care. And a lot of them went to church. <laughs> and they sang in the choir. And they did everything else. And they were no different than the men that were heterosexual singing in the choir, sleeping with ten different women in the church. So... The all the sins were all the same, and uh, you know it was just like, oh, that's so and so. The 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 discord comes when one of them tries to approach you. It's like, I know you gay. I saw you looking at me, and the dude wasn't looking at you to get with you. He was looking at you from this is what the heterosexuals would tell me. I was looking at him trying to figure him out. I couldn't figure him out, and my response is always, don't try. Stop trying to figure it out. Just that so and so, call him by his name and leave it at that. Because it's you know, it's a spirit and you gotta let people go their own journey. They you know, God leads us into righteousness and he calls us into salvation. And for some people it takes longer than others. So you gotta let people take that journey. You give them the word and you feed them the word and, and you minister to them and you pray for them and you be kind to them, you show them kindness. And so a thief, a homosexual, a heterosexual, a prostitute, a pimp, whatever, all the same. Everybody has their own course. A lawyer, a doctor, a singer, a poet, everybody has their own course. So, you know, feed them the word and let God do it. Amen. We got the uh, altar call in the last five minutes of the show and a vocabulary word up in about ten minutes. Amen, amen, amen. I am going to play Chase Song Smith this time, right? Okay, y'all, uh, I'll play him in a couple minutes. Here we go, Back in the Day by Foley. I love this girl.
When I woke up Early this morning I said, Lord, I thank you For letting me see a brand new day Deep within my heart, Lord I begin to praise your name My life wouldn't be complete If you hadn't shown me the way Lord, I thank you Thank you, thank you Master Sponsor the uh, vocabulary word, send me an email to lutgradio at gmail.com. That's lutgradio at gmail.com to sponsor the vocabulary word of the day. All right, so um, I'm looking in a book called The Covenant, which is the name, it's called Voice of the Covenant. It's the name of Jesse Duplantis' magazine, and he sends out these magazines all over the world. And it's uh, a form of evangelism, and it's another aid or source. Uh, for understanding the gospel, and he kind of breaks it down, and he uses his own real life a lot, of, you know, when he's writing the stories. It's him and his wife, uh, Kathy, the planet that uh, write the stories in the book, or the explanations of the word in the book. Um, and I'm I'm in the September issue. I'm a little bit behind here, but I'm so I'm in the September issue, and uh, he's talking about truth and fact, and he's explaining the difference. So that's the vocabulary word today, truth. And it's uh, based on uh, John 14 and 6, which says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. And that's Jesus talking to Pontius Pilate, who says, you know, why don't you defend yourself? Uh, don't you know that I can free you? And Jesus, with his smart mouth, goes, you can't do nothing except my Father give you power. So, I love Jesus that mouth for but it's truth that comes out of whatever Jesus speaks it's always truth that comes out of his mouth I mean the fact was Pontus did have power because he was a, he was the ruler of that area that was a fact just like a fact that um, somebody may have cancer or somebody may have AIDS or somebody may have gotten hit with a car those are all facts or somebody may have won a million dollars that's a positive fact um, gambling fact more than likely, but it's a positive fact. But Jesus always speaks about truth. He says, my father has the power. He says, I am the truth and the light. I am the sacrifice. And he always speaks from the spirit, which is from fire and power. And 
And that's the word of God, and that's the vocabulary word, truth. What is the truth? The truth is Christ Jesus. So um, whenever you're speaking about yourself and your own situations, don't just look at the facts. Okay, so you don't have any money in your pocket right now. But the truth is, God is your source. And that's what I trust on and rely on. God is my source. He has a thousand cattle on a thousand hills. He has more than enough for me. His name is Jehovah God. He sees and provides, and he already knew I was going to be in this situation. He already provided for me. He is calling on people to bless me, because he will bless them as you give unto the poor. It's like giving to God, and he will bless you mightily for giving to the poor. So those are my truths that God has already provided for me. All right? So I don't, I don't trust and rely on the facts, although they exist. I trust and rely on the truth because it is God. All right? So that's the vocabulary word of the day. Amen? And uh, we got a little bit more music going for you. We got some Will E. Coleman, Praise With All. You can get his song at uh, rradiomusic.com. Amen? It's all right to give him praises. He loves the sound of your voice. He loves it when you tell him how great he is. the way it sounds.
would like to tell you a story. Something happened in my life. A few months ago, my mother went home to be with the Lord. As I sat in that hospital room, and I looked and saw my mother take her last breath, I began to wonder, Lord, what am I going to do without my mother? But I began to remember things that my mother has said to me over the years. One of the things that she's always said to me, that we all have an appointed time to leave this earth. And I begin to think that when my time comes, I'm going to see my mother again. So whatever you're going through in your life, I'm here to tell you, you can make it with the Lord on your side. You can make it with the Lord on your side. You can make it with the Lord on your side. Amen, amen. That was I Made It by Kevin Jenkins. And you can get his music. Um, that one uh, is available um, at Old Sensations uh, Music Group. Uh, you can probably get it on iTunes as well. Uh, Kevin sent me that after um, a, a few months ago in the summer. All right, so for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believe in him should not perish but have the everlasting life. God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but that through him the world might be saved. Now that's for me, for you, every Jew and every Gentile. God um God said uh and he said it so plainly, Jesus like, look, I'm doing the heavy lifting, I'm gonna do the hard work. This is all I want you to do. This is what I want you to focus on. He said, uh heal the sick cleanse the lepers, raise the dead, cast out devils, freely ye have received, freely give. That's Matthew 10 and 8. And it's really just that easy. And he's talking to his disciples. And who are his disciples now? That's me and every redeemed person in this world. So we, we are to go forth and preach the gospel. Uh, if you look in John 16, 13, it's where it talks about... Um, the Holy Spirit leading us in the way to go so we can go into the highways and the byways and preach the gospel. Because you can't deliver nobody from a de demon or cleanse them from leprosy unless you are before them telling them about God. You, you can't do this unless you are opening your mouth and saying, Jesus is Lord. He is the truth, the life, and the way. You, you, you can't do or say anything unless you are before people either by radio, TV, or in person. You got to have some medium for them to hear you. Amen. So, you, you know, you're like, okay, well, what about the Holy Ghost? Can't he just, you know, project your voice? He projects the voice of God. We hear God's voice. Can, can God make it so that your voice will resound throughout the entire world? Yeah, it's spiritual. But his people should know his voice. He said, and a, another voice, they will not follow. So, yeah, you can have some people that are able to project their voices over, uh, you know, and everybody can hear them. It's a spiritual thing, and it's a spiritual ability. It's possible. It, it can be done. But what you really want to focus on, rather than learning all that because all that stuff comes, you really want to focus on your relationship with God. His voice is the one you really, really, really want to get your ears and your spirit tuned to. That's the one you want to listen for. Because um, man is faulty. But God is not. 
man, man will turn on you. But God will be with you for an eternity. He sticks closer than any friend. Now, am I saying that, hey, I'm going to turn on you the second you do something wrong? I'm more than likely not. Do I have a limit? Uh, I'm human. I ask God to increase me. When people do bad things or say bad things about me, I'm praying, Lord Jesus, hallelujah, Father, amen. That's me because I know I can't do nothing without him. I know it's, it's hard. So I trust and lean on God for that strength. And you'll be able to trust and lean on God for strength too to overcome as well as to receive uh, Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. So if you want to receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, you can repeat this after me. And you can uh, build a re begin a relationship with, uh, with the Father. Repeat this. Lord, I know I am a sinner. I know I can't earn or buy my way into heaven. I want to know your pure love. Lord, I freely accept Jesus Christ as my Savior and Lord of my life. From this day forward, I give my life to you, Jesus. Direct me in all my ways and keep me on your righteous path. I have faith in the blood of Jesus. Set me in an atmosphere of learning in a Bible-based church. In your name, Jesus, thank you. Amen. Just that easy. Facebook.com forward slash LUTG Radio. Click on the link, find a church, so you can take the foundation classes and the intercessory classes. And don't forget, um, Indiegogo.com forward slash LUTG Radio fundraiser. Amen. We're raising money so we can go 24-7. Amen. No, this is not a church. That is a form of almsgiving, which means to give unto the poor, and God will give unto you. We'll bless you. It's a pity giving. So that's what a fundraiser is. So, all right, check it out. We want to bless the soldiers. Amen. And uh, LUTG Radio. Come back for the next segment. We get Ministry Minute. Yeah.